going on everybody? I am for my first time seeing the Gulf waters of Texas, kind of like out the window, that side. And then over the barrier, which you can't see on that side. <laughs> Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we're outside Seafood and Spaghetti Works. Seafood and Spaghetti Works, which looks like this. It's a really, I don't know if you can see it too well with the lighting, but it's a really cool dome, almost hut looking thing in Port Aransas, Port Aransas, Texas on Mustang Island. So essentially this is like Corpus Christi area. My first time actually being down in this area. So super excited. And what are we doing while we're here on friggin' island by the beach? This is like the go-to weekend destination spot. We're here to eat the biggest, the biggest seafood challenge I've ever seen in my life, guys. This is not only featuring like a variety of different fish, a variety of different shrimp, there's crab cakes, there are, uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting so I think calamari. I'm gonna get you all the details. I know there is just so much stuff here, so I'll uh, get it when we get inside. I know we are in quest for a free meal. We do have a one hour time limit. Apparently this thing weighs upwards of about 11 pounds, 10, 11 pounds. So it's definitely Texas' biggest, if not the world's biggest seafood challenge. Crazy thing though guys, should we fail this, we're looking at about a $300 price tag. So I tell you what though, you pay for quality. They have not only, apparently like the best crab cakes ever here, not being filled with fillers, not only are they getting fresh quality fish, all the highest ingredients, I mean we are an island after all, but I'm super excited to come on in, give it a shot, of course they're known for their seafood, and their spaghetti, their pastas, but a variety of other things. So let's get you some more details, let's have some fun. Eat some food. Let's get rocking. Hi, everybody. So, here we are with the big platter, guys. This looks absolutely amazing. So, to get the specifics, what I have in front of us, I have a piece of grilled snapper, a piece of blackened snapper. I have two pieces of grilled mahi mahi, two blackened mahi, oh no, three blackened mahi mahi. I have a whole bunch of their giant grilled shrimp. These things are absolutely huge. I have um, eight of the pesto truffle scallop. I have their seared tuna over here, which looks awesome. It is uh, topped with a bit of a blackening season, I believe, as well. Also, the spicy mayonnaise. We have a couple of their sauces on there, a bit of sriracha. I have the stuffed avocado, which is super cool. So this is actually like crab, like real, real, real crab. There is a bit of a romulot on it, some pico, all in a half avocado. Sounds delicious. I have a serving of their vegetables right back here, guys. This plate is so huge. I have three of their house-made crab cakes, and it's like a real crab cake. There's not like fillers and stuff in it. It's really kind of more like a Maryland style, like basically just crab seasonings, yo, eggs, good stuff. I have their coconut shrimp, I have their regular fried shrimp, I have their grilled shrimp, I have their blackened shrimp. I have a full serving of ca uh, calamari back here below all their fried fish, guys. This is absolutely amazing. It's a huge amount of food, but I am so excited. It looks so good, smells so good. This area is known for its seafood being right on the water, and of course it's fishing. So with that, guys, we're gonna start here just momentarily. Let's just say there is no shortage of food here. Like seriously, this barely fits in the frame. I also have some Cholua. I have some Tabasco. I have some ketchup. It's not Heinz, but I do love me some ketchup. Also other sauces. I have a uh, house-made tartar, a house-made cocktail, a house-made ramelad. I have their corn salsa. I have a lemon aioli. And I have an apricot kind of jelly jam thing they mentioned. So I'm excited to try all of that. Plus I have a variety of different lemons. And really I have, I think, everything and more I could ever ask for. Uh, I'm probably gonna start maybe some of these veggies here. I always start with your vegetables, kids. So how about we get going, let's say, right now. Exactly what you expect. Gotta get the healthy veggies in, kid. Uh, 
But of course, if you didn't come to watch me eat vegetables. We came for fresh Texas seafood. All right. Healthy stuff are out of the way. Next. I'm gonna go with this tuna. All right, guys. Woo! Beautiful rare seared tuna. Mmm. 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 Oh. Oh my gosh, that is so tender. Mm. It literally is like butter. Mm. Fish butter. Mm. Man, the aioli, there's definitely like a, kind of like a poke sauce, a sauce they put a poke on there. I don't know if it's ponzu or soy. Mm. That is the best secret tuna I've ever had. I'm not making that up. Mm. Definitely a keeper. We did have some avocado, better greens with that. I'm gonna leave that for a bit. Mm. Wow, all you can say. Amazing, amazing tuna. All right, let's try. Maybe scallops next, pesto, and uh, truffle. Ooh, my parmesan. on. Nice flavor, that pesto's real strong. Maybe I'll try these giant shrimp over at it. They really are giant, these are grilled. I can give the scallops there, are not shelled, so they'll be easy to eat all along. Get these out of the shell. Ooh. Salt, pepper. Nice seasoning on that. I mm. empty dish here, but gotta use it for shells. Giant shrimp. I mean, that's literally what they're called on the menu. They're called giant shrimp. Giant grilled shrimp. Nice richness on there. Oh. I didn't get all the shell off. Great prawn, I guess probably like a tiger shrimp or something, I'm assuming. Mm. Delicious. I do love seafood, guys. Let me know your favorite seafood down below. We got shrimp, we got crab cakes, we got fish, all the good stuff here. Very nice. Nicely cooked too. Definitely gonna be all seafoody after this one. I got the gloves, but I probably should have like a bib or a poncho. Super delicious. Come on, roughly five minutes in. Got some more shrimps here. These are the grilled shrimp. I imagine it's pretty similar. So many shrimp on there, this is amazing. And they have a beautiful kind of sear on those grilled shrimp. 
kind of flavor. Nice and rich. Definitely, they use a real butter too, using that real butter. Salt, pepper. Like some kind of seasoning they've on that. Mm. Very, very good. Amazing. I mean, it makes sense that this place has been here for 45 years. They do it well. All right, I think we're now into the blackened shrimp. Mmm. Woo! Five, yeah. That's an amazing flavor. Get some like onion, garlic, paprika, mm. okayam. Oh, Perfectly cooked. They're so juicy and moist. Mm. I wouldn't even need like any sauces. Sorry, guys, show that again. Just look at that. What I appreciate in this blackened seasonings they, they've, they've made, it's not like it's really salty. It's a perfect amount of salt. But sometimes the store made ones are so salty. This is perfect. Very good. So, I'll probably, uh, I'm gonna finish off these scallops now. The truffle is rich. Good flavor though. And then, we'll get some of these fried items. Let me hit the fish first. I'm going to try this too. Sub avocado. But I think it's going to be really light and refreshing, so I'm going to save it probably when it's more along the lines of uh, I don't know, jalapenos. When, uh, mm. We want a little fresh bite. Oh yeah, I just had a little taste of that. Very good. All right. Um, we're just over nine minutes in. Into fish and chill. All right. Try this. Black and mahi mahi. Nice and meaty. Treasure and tartar sauce. Good tartar. Now you have the grilled salt, pepper. All these seasonings. Try this apricot one. Mmm. That's so sweet.
I'm gonna get a little bit of ketchup to actually go. I'm gonna make some ketchup. A little bit of hot sauce. Mm. I'm gonna be a nice addition to that blackened fish. I just should have went with the uh, Tabasco. Shout out Louisiana. Mm. Ooh. Great combo. Blackened fish and hot sauce. Excellent. All right, fish is mahi, mahi, nice meaty fish. Here we have that snapper. Give that a shot. First we have the grilled. I love snapper. It's a little bit more of a stronger tasting fish. But it's also a little more flaky. Try it in this. Mm. Apricot jelly, whatever it is. Very good. Tartar. No complaints. Yeah. A lot of food, everybody. Put it that way. Get some air out of me. All right, try this here. It looks very, very delicious. Mm. Thank you. Again, those great flavors in that black and seasoning. It's definitely not, not like spicy, like, if it's not spicy, not overly really salty. I think it would suit a lot of palates. I like it. Let me take this up ever so slightly, get you guys a little better. You? Maybe? Neither. Blackened fish and a hot sauce. I love it. I love it. Get a little Tabasco action. About 16 minutes in. 
There's a lot more food here than I anticipated. I mean, I knew it was gonna be a lot, but it's a lot. I'm gonna check this ketchup and hot sauce out. Let's get in this fried fish. This is Seoul with their house-made batters and seasonings. Mmm. Mm. Good crunch. A great flavor. Mm. Some herb in that's very fresh. Really fresh. Love that. I'm trying that tartar sauce. Very good. Mm. Is it like parsley or basil or something? Oh yes, please. Woo! Good fried fish. All right, a monstrous pile of calamari, a monstrous pile of shrimp, three giant crab cakes, and then the avocado. Everyone, holy crap, that fried fish was awesome. A lot of times fried fish fried fish, that stood out. That was actually like great seasoning. A long time since I had such a, excuse me, compliments to the chef. Yeah, delectable fried fish. Woo! No shortage of food though. Um, I'll probably, excuse me, woo, get through some of these fried shrimp and then let's get to these crab cakes. Similarly, a nice flavor. And this will try the cocktail sauce. That's pretty classic. Mm. Ooh! <laughs> I almost inhaled some. There's a good bit of horseradish in that. Mm. Ooh! Strong horseradish. It's basically horseradish and ketchup cocktail sauce. I love horseradish. Let me know if you like horseradish down below. Mm. There we go.
Right now we're down to the coconut shrimp. I like coconut shrimp, guys. Nice sweetness on it. Something about just that coconut on shrimp. Oh, well, I think this is what that uh, chili apricot jelly was for. I like get a little dip action going. Whoops. Mmm. Oh yeah. Sweetness. Coconutty. That's the deal. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Alright buddy. Woo! Slowly but surely. Twenty-three. Ooh. That's a funny burp. Excuse me, it happens in. I got like soda in my nasal cavity. Ooh. All right, calamari, crab cakes. I'm excited to try these crab cakes, guys. It's been so long since I had good crab cakes. It's hard to find them. But they aren't all fillers and fake nowadays. So shout out to Seafood and Spaghetti Works, guys, for not. You know, excuse me, compliments to the chef, really. They deserve it. Try this crab cake. Oh my god. Yes. Woo. Mm. Look at all that crab meat in there. There's so much crab in there. Oh my god, look at this. Look at that. Look at that pull action. I'm going to break that open for you guys. Okay. Oh, the sweetness of that crab. Mm. The pepper on there is a really like black pepper. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Shockingly good. I think it's uh, the Romlots for that. Tried that. Good pairing, but you don't need anything with that.
shout out to the crab cakes, everybody. Literally, probably the best crab cake we've ever had. And thanks everybody for watching live. I think we're live, right? Thank you for the shout out. Absolutely. Twenty-seven minutes in the super to chill. I'm actually cold. We got some good AC in here. If it's ever a hot day in Texas, come cool off here. Like I said, those crab cakes were phenomenal, though. All right, calamari, stuffed avocado. Woo. I mean, we are on the crab kick. Cake, cake, you know, get it? Maybe I'll try this item right here. Because this is really good looking. It's very refreshing looking. It's literally half an avocado with crab and pico and ramelot and everything on it. So, see what that's all about? Fresh and rich. Delicious avocado, very, very ripe. I don't think I've ever just bitten an avocado like that. That ain't bad. Ooh. But definitely it's an avocado. Last but not least, calamari. right now I'm about 10 pounds heavier than it was 30 minutes ago. <laughs> All right, everybody. Calamari. And they have the rings and the tentacles in them. They got the crunch down on that. Wow. Like hell, right? Crazy country. Good. But it's definitely crunchy. Listen. That's a 4D crunch. I actually really like that cocktail sauce. I love horseradish.
are about 31 and a half minutes in. Woo! No shortage of food. Like I said, impressive batter. In fact, this is still so crunchy and crispy. After however long it's been sitting there, they know how to fry some seafood. garnish here. I said I didn't have to finish the jalapenos with the Montu, but I'll finish them. Might as well. Alrighty. There's some more avocado. That's pretty much everything else. Unless I'm going to lick the plate. I have done that before. I went against you. Alright, no shortage of food. Let's finish on out. Orange salsa. Wow. Alright, and we're finished there. About, um, I think it's about 34 and a half, 34, 40. You guys have an exact time around screen. Wow, where do I start? I gotta say, thoroughly, 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 thoroughly impressed. So a lot of these items, I'm like, oh, I've had them before. You know, it'll be good. Let's stop right there. All right, the items that literally stood out here so much for me today. <clears throat> Ooh, comments of the chef. Definitely deserves it. They've actually, the same chef has said he's been here for like 25 years or something crazy. And of course this place actually being here for 45 years. So the two items that stood out to me so much is first off, no there's three. Those crab cakes, probably the best I've ever had. With so much actual crab, so much crab meat. And so used to them, unfortunately a lot of them being like, you know, bready and like bread, like bread and fillers, not like breaded, but the bread, fillers, all this kind of whatever in it. Guys, this was like basically straight crab seasonings. That was phenomenal. Probably the best crab cake I've ever had, at least honestly to my memory. I'm not just saying that, I'm actually being honest. Probably the best one I've ever had. Second, which is actually again, probably the best of whatever I've ever had, that seared tuna. That rare seared tuna it was amazing. I couldn't believe how soft and tender it was. The flavors were perfect. 
the bit of that soy or ponzer or whatever it was on there, along with the uh, little bit of the aioli, and the, I think that should put the blackening season on if I'm mistaken, was fantastic. Again, both those items, maybe the best of each I've ever had. The uh, last special shout out I really want to give is actually their fried fish. I've had lots of fried fish in my life. I very much like fried fish. But the way they had that not only breaded, that it was super, super crispy, like that calamari, but whatever herb or seasoning they had in that uh, breading and batter was fantastic. Fantastic. But uh, that's about that, guys. So for that, we do get the platter for fruits. Pretty cool. It was a big challenge with a big number on it, but I totally recommend. This is like an oversized version of their um, normal, I believe it's called the seaweed sampler, um, which has like the, the uh, I think it's three of each of the different shrimps. You get your fried fish, you get your mahi-mahi grilled or blackened, um, some vegetables and etc. But I gotta say, absolutely amazing guys. We totally recommend stopping on by. So if you're ever in the port, Aransas, Aransas, I, I, for some reason I want to keep saying it more like Arkansas. But if you're ever in the Port Aransas, Corpus Christi area, guys, Seafood Spaghetti Works. Oh, and of course they have a whole bunch of pastas. It's right in the name. It's spaghetti. But uh, today we have definitely the seafood fix. And this is awesome. They really got it going here. I got no complaints. Cool location. It's like a big dome. And uh, it's right by the water. So it's the next time, everybody. Of course, I'm happy, hungry, happy eating. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button. Let me know in the comment down below. Consider subscribing. Share it with your friends. Until next time, have a lovely day. And we're done. Thank you, thank you. Awesome, dude. dude. You fucking killed it. Are you still alive? Like, yeah, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in the live. I appreciate you. If you guys like food, all kinds of content, you can feel free to check me out, Joel Hansen. Um, but yeah, guys, appreciate you watching. And thanks for your support here. Really cool spot. Definitely come on by, eat some crab cakes, fried fish, and shrimp, all the above. Appreciate you. That was delicious. I'm glad you enjoyed it, dude. Yeah, like, oh, you just carved it down fast. That was real good. That, that one helps, like, just working it down with... with and only because they insisted, guys, we have their famous Butterfinger Cheesecake. Oreo bottom, real Butterfinger Cheesecake, and then a Butterfinger Sauce. So let's give that a shot. You can see the Butterfinger in there. Looks pretty delectable. Mm. Butterfinger. That is very good. Not calorie free. Woo! <laughs> but delicious.